what up what up it's your girl simply becca here to give you another update of what's going on with me so i am currently in the bed um i know my face is beat still i have not washed my face yet you see i have my little notebook here and i wanted to come by and just quickly encourage someone um who may be out there struggling right now I know that life gives us a ton of lemons and we're told to make lemonade and that is majority of the time easier said than done. We all go through struggles, we all go through battles, we all go through hardship and trials and tribulations and I read today about God having a plan and a purpose for our lives although we may not know exactly what that plan is. He has a plan and he has a purpose and he doesn't always show us the bigger picture. Um, in fact, I listened to a motivational um, video that Steve Harvey recorded on one of his shows and he posted to his Facebook page um, and I actually came across it and he was saying that if God showed you the bigger picture, he showed you what it took to get to where you're trying to go, half of us would run and hide. And I feel like that's so true. It's oh so true. Because it's hard. We can say we want, 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 and where we want to be all of our lives. Um, however, a lot of us don't have the willpower, the determination, or the endurance to go through what it takes to get there. Including myself. We can only find that strength. We can only find that keep going push that we need from Christ. And... Right now, I need this for myself, so I'm not preaching just to be talking. I'm telling y'all what I know. I'm telling y'all what I, I, I experience. I have walked a mile in several pairs of shoes, so I can relate to all different types of things. Not everything, but there are a lot of situations that I have been in that, keeping it already real, some of my family members don't even know that I've been in. So when I say keep pushing I'm not just saying that for you I'm gonna play this video back and watch it for myself keep pushing keep striving keep pressing forward you've got this it always gets the toughest we always get to our breaking point right when we're gonna have a breakthrough what God got for you is for you you gotta ask yourself and be determined and really have the mind frame to push through and keep going until you get your breakthrough. The devil is going to come at you at all different angles. If he can't get you with your boyfriend or girlfriend or your husband or wife, then he's going to get you with your children. And if he can't get you with your children, he's going to get to you with the job. If he can't get to you with the job, he's going to get to you with the bills. And if it's not the bills, it's problems with the car. If it's not problems with the car, then it's financial problems. If it's not financial problems, it's not having no food. And if it's not having no food, then it's not having no money for the utilities. You ain't got no money for the utilities. That's not going to work. That's not going to break you. It's going to be something else. The devil watches us. He studies us. He learns us. But we have the greatest advantage because we have Christ on our side if you allow him to trust him show him that you can be 100% down for him the same way he's down for you in fact he don't even ask us for that he asks us to give him faith the size of a mustard seed which is so small <laughs> if I'm not mistaken it's smaller than a grain of rice and if I'm wrong, correct me. But he has the ultimate plan. We just got to do what it takes to get there. And as Steve Harvey said, quote in the Bible, we have not because we ask not. So what that means is ask Christ for what you want. Y'all see my notebook right here? It's here because I am literally writing down everything I could ever imagine, no matter how small, no matter how big. Anything that I could ever imagine in life. And it's not just monetary things or materialistic things. Spiritual blessings. Breakthroughs. Being able to break generational curses. Anything that crosses my mind goes in this book. And I'm going to review it every single day. 
And when I review it in the morning, in the afternoon, and at night, I'm going to pray. And I'm going to pray with the belief that God is going to deliver me. I challenge you to do the same. You will not. I repeat, you will not regret it. This is Simply Becca. I'm going to leave it where it's at. As always, stay beautiful, stay humble, stay real. I'll catch you on the next one.